The first most important and difficult trend that we have experienced is sexual violence being used as a tactic of terror. And this is because of the rise of extremists and terrorist groups. And they come across countries, they are transnational, transregional, and it is very challenging for us. So I think those, the countries where these crimes are being committed have to make sure that they have the political will and commitment. The donors who are supporting them need to make sure that they provide the resources to support these countries to take the necessary actions that needed to be taken. They are very sophisticated, they are well organized, they have developed structures, they are controlling mass land, they come across region, they are not only in one country, they communicate with each other, and they are using modern technology and tools to actually implement a medieval mentality against women. So we don't have the tools, and that's why we're working very closely with the Security Council to be able to better understand who they are, where they come from, and how we can respond. What it has taught me is the resilience of the survivors, the victims, the hope. I think my, my, my visit in all of these countries is being able to provide hope, is to understand the crime. And I think a lot of the time, the women just want somebody to understand. Unfortunately, it's done in a very different way, in the sense that with men, it's normally done in prison, in detention facilities, in house-to-house -house searches. And so men have been reluctant to come out and talk about it. When we watch, we learn, we find out that when you talk about men being targeted in prison, it is sexual violence invariably but we have always looked at it as torture.